Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's update video, we are going to take a look at the brand new Gen 3 Arabians, as well as their matching new halters, which actually do have a lead rope, so I'm very excited to check those out. We've got six new Arabian horses today. The coats all look pretty nice, so we are going to take a look at them. We're going to buy one or two. I don't want to buy too many horses today because... I'm trying not to spend all my star coins and I'm trying to spend the least possible on SSO right now, but I'm still an SSO channel and I want to review these horses very badly, so we're gonna do it. So yeah, if you're interested in checking out these new horses with me, make sure you keep on watching and then now, without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Now, first things first, the Gen 3 Arabians are at the same exact location as where the Gen 2s were, but the Gen 2s were moved a few weeks ago and they've also updated the stable, so I really want to go ahead and take a look. Now over here we have a gray, a bay, a palomino, a dapple gray, a liver chestnut, and a chestnut rabicano. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Please correct me in the comments if I'm not. But let's go ahead and take a look at these horses, shall we? Um, This one over here I'm pretty sure is the gray. I keep saying that these are white horses, but in reality the actual name of this coat color is gray. So I'm correcting myself today, you guys. These horses are 950 star coins. You can get them from off level seven and they're also cold tolerant, which is remarkable because I don't think that in real life the Arabian horse could be considered a cold tolerant horse, but then again, I could be wrong. I don't know that much about horse breeds, so if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments down below, but that's just something that I noticed and found a bit remarkable. But if this horse is actually cold tolerant, I've learned something new, right? Right next to the gray, we have the liver chestnut, I'm pretty sure. I'm really trying to get these coat colors right because in my fin horse video, I was so wrong. Wrong, and I'm still very embarrassed by that. I'm trying to do better, okay? So this, in my opinion, in my thought process, is the liver chestnut. And I mean, I've never really been a big fan of liver chestnuts. I feel like the white on the face is a bit too much for me. But at the same time, it's still a very pretty horse, and I think it could look really, really good with braid specifically. Right next to the liver chestnut, we have the bay, which is adorable. I love the bay. The face is so cute. Like, it's looking at me with, like, these big baby eyes. I love it. I really do. Um, I'm just not sure about the fact that this is a bay, because I do already have a lot of bays, and I want to be critical here, because I only want to get one or two, and there are seven available. So, um, I'm trying to be critical, okay? Now, moving on to my favorite 100%. This is the dapple gray. Look at this horse. <gasps> It's so beautiful. It's filled with dapples. The coat is filled with dapples and the face is so cute. I love the fade from like gray to like more a blackish color and then there's like a white spot on the nose. I love it. It's so adorable. I am most definitely going to buy this horse and I also already have some names because I went snooping around after I found out we had more name suggestions. So I already have some names ready. Then right next to the dapple gray, we have the palomino, which is also adorable. I love the Palomino so, so much. However, I think I'm also really going to like the black, which is in Fort Pinta. We're going to take a look at that one in a second. So I'm not sure if I want to buy this one or the black. We'll need to see. However, the one I don't buy is probably going to be the horse that I buy on like an alt account or something because they're both really pretty from what I've seen in pictures. So right next to the Palomino, we have the last coat color for Goldspur Farm. And this one is the Chestnut Rabicano. Again, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this this is quite a special coat color. And overall, I just want to say that this is not my style. I like basic. I really do like basic or a dapple gray. This is just not really my thing, but I can see why some people would really love this because it's definitely not your everyday coat. I've never seen this coat in real life either. It's very special and I really do appreciate it because of that. However, I think this horse for me personally is just for appreciation purposes. If I see it around, I'll be like, wow, it's a pretty horse, but then again, I would never ride it, so I don't think I'm going to be getting this one. However, I can appreciate it very much. Now, I do very quickly want to go to Fort Pinta for a second to take a look at the black because I have a feeling I really am going to like the black as well. And after we've done that, I'm going to come back, buy the dapple gray, and then choose between the palomino and the black. And then here is the black Arabian. Now, I do have to say, this is like a full black. The only thing it has is a little star marking on its head, but it's hidden by the front lock. And I do have to say, 
I wish this horse had socks. I don't know why, but if a black horse has socks, honestly, it always gets me. Because this horse doesn't have socks, I think I do prefer the Palomino over this one because it's just too plain for me. And I know I just said that I prefer basic horses, but at the same time, a basic horse also needs to have that one feature that really makes them special and this one really doesn't have anything about it that makes it that special. Now before we go back to Goldsboro Farm and buy the Dapple Grey and the Palomino, I do want to look at the model itself. Um, this person already has the bay and honestly it's quite cute, especially with red. I kind of like it, but then again, it's too bay. I have too many bays. Now this is the model. I did see some people say the tail was way too short. However, I think that's normal for an Arabian. I'm not mad about the tail. I think the previous one was so much worse. In case you haven't seen my previous video, in my previous video, I did ride a Gen 2 Arabian. So if you don't know what the Gen 2 Arabians look like, that's what they looked like. And honestly, I prefer this model over the Gen 2s. This is honestly what I was expecting when the Gen 2s came out and the Gen 2 is kind of disappointed, these absolutely do not. Now the original main style is fine by me, I'm not that big of a fan of it, it's pretty basic so I think I may change it on my two Arabians that I'm about to buy and that's basically my entire thoughts on this model. I think the body itself is absolutely gorgeous, I love it, I have no remarks, it's really good, the head is perfect. I really like these horses, I really like the model, I like the coats. Now let's take a look at the animations because the animations I've seen some and they're different they're definitely different to the recent animations from recent horses so I'm gonna go ahead and buy some horses check out the main styles and then I'm gonna show you the animations now here we are back at Goldsboro Farm and I just realized there's one thing I forgot to mention about these horses they are quite expensive they're 950 star coins and that's because they actually do have a special move if you click the space bar while your Arabian is standing still you can witness a gracefully rear up and walk on its hind legs so I'm very curious to see that but um for now we're gonna buy two we're gonna buy the Palomino and the Dapple Grey the Palomino is gonna be called Amberly which I think is a pretty cute name so there we go Amberly let's click on OK and we've bought our first Arabian <laughs> And then this is going to be the name for the Dapple Grey. It's going to be Uno, and I saw this name on Instagram. I love that card game. It's a great card game. I used to play it every single day when I was younger on vacation in Spain. I loved it, so um, I'm going to be naming this horse Uno for sure because I just had to use it the next time a horse came out. I just had to. So we are going to go ahead and click on OK, buy the Dapple Grey called Uno, and then we're going to check them out in my home stable. And then over here we have both of my new Arabians. I really want to pick out Uno first to see what a possible main style could be for this horse, so let's go ahead and do it. So here we are in the horse stylist. As you can see, this horse doesn't have a special main style. We'll have to do with the four original ones. So this one over here is so adorable on this horse. I love it. I love how it's black on the neck and the front lock kind of fades into this grayish white color. Love that. The braids also look really good on this horse and then we have these two last ones which are like the original but just a bit thicker and a bit longer so it really just comes down to what you prefer on your horse I think personally for this Arabian I really want to get this style because look how cute this is I'm gonna show you look how adorable I love it it's so cute now something I also do have to mention when it comes to the main styles is that the tail from this Arabian stays the same with every single main style because Star Stable really treasures this Arabian style tail so it stays the same with every single main style nothing changed from the original one in the tail now the moment we've all been waiting for I'm gonna head to paddock island to show you every single gate of this brand new horse including the special gate so yeah without any further ado let's get into it
Now, like mentioned before, this horse also has a special movement and I'm gonna show it to you right now. All you have to do to activate this move is have your Arabian stand still like this and press the space bar. And then this is the special movement. The horse is actually walking. Did you see that? I understand that a lot of kids are gonna think this is a very cool move, but at the same time, for me, this is associated with circuses. I've seen horses do this in circuses and I personally do not support that industry. If you would like some more information, I really recommend you do your research because the circus industry is quite a bad, abusive industry and I don't want SSO promoting it um, at all. But of course, I don't know if that was their intention. If they were aware that this is a move typically shown by horses and circuses, um, I could be wrong also. This could be a cultural thing. I'm not sure. But with the info I have right now, this is typically a move shown in circuses and I personally do not support the circus industry. Now, on a more positive note, I do have to say the gates on this horse are absolutely beautiful. Look at the walk, look at the trot, look at the canter. This canter is perfect. I love it. It's perfection. I'm not sure what that hard stop is, though, because that hard stop is a little bit weird. No horse is just going to jump like that and stand still. It's just a bit unrealistic, in my opinion, and also the rear is quite cool because the horse kind of stays in the air for a little longer than usual, and I think that's really cool. Cool. It's also much different to the special move, which is also cool because I was afraid that the special move would literally just be a rear and it isn't. So I'm happy with that. But at the same time, remember what I just said, I don't really support it. Now, there are two more things I need to talk to you about, and the first one is obviously, like I mentioned in the intro, the halters that are exclusive to the Arabian horses. You can find them at Goldspur Farm as well as in the Global Store right over here, and there's three colors of this brand new halter. The first one over here is the classic show halter in black and gold, and they're all 90 star coins or 9,000 Jorvik shillings, which I think is quite a lot for just a halter, I'm not gonna lie. The one right next to it is the white version and then this one over here I think is the brown and gold version yes I'm not sure which one I want to get to be honest I really like the black with gold I think I want to get this one and then I'm going to showcase you how this works because this is actually different from the other halters we've seen before in the game because this one actually does have a lead rope now I'm going to put it on I'm going to dismount and I'm going to lead my horse and I'm curious to see if my lead rope will actually come to my hands and yes it will look how cool this is when you're not leading your horse the lead rope is attached to your saddle and when you are you have the lead rope in your hand honestly i do prefer this system to the other one where it didn't have a lead rope so star stable was asking for our opinions and personally i do prefer this type of a lead rope now last but not least let's talk about the teaser for next week so on the website it says coming next week our beloved blue friend needs your help band together with the soul riders and friends and go on an adventure to save Frib. And obviously this is implying that we are getting brand new story quests. I'm honestly so, so excited. I really hope we're getting a ton of playthrough. We're getting a ton of emotion. We're getting a ton of excitement and I'm very excited to make next week's video. So make sure you go out to buy yourself some popcorn, to buy yourself a drink, to get ready for next week's video because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a long one. And yeah, with that being said, I think we have come to the end of today's video. I wanna thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you would like to see more of my content, all you have to do is subscribe down below as well as turn on those notifications. And with that being said, I really hope I'll see you back on Saturday. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys!